Yumitsat and Copernicus, Europe's eyes on Earth. Copernicus is the Earth observation part of the EU space program. It uses satellites and networks of sensors on land, sea and in the air to monitor the Earth and to provide services. Let's take a closer look at the Copernicus satellites and missions that Umitsat operates. Here is the Copernicus Sentinel-3 satellite. Its job is to keep an eye on the oceans, observing their colour, which helps scientists to monitor water quality, feeding hotspots for marine life and even climate change over longer periods of time. It gives us an exciting snapshot of what's going on in the oceans. Impressive, right? Sentinel-3 also monitors ocean temperature and sea level, and the data are used in weather and ocean forecasting and to monitor our climate. It also keeps an eye on the land and the atmosphere as it orbits the Earth every 100 minutes. Another satellite watching over our oceans is Copernicus Sentinel-6. This satellite collects data on global sea level, continuing a precious record that dates back to 1992. This information is essential for tracking climate change. The satellite also keeps an eye on wind and waves to help keep ships safe. High up in space is Sentinel-4. Not actually a satellite, but an instrument mission on board UMITSAT's Meteosat third generation weather satellites. Sentinel-4 will monitor the atmosphere from a geostationary orbit. This means that it will stay over the same place on Earth providing a constant view. From 36,000 kilometres up, Sentinel-4 will, for the first time ever, monitor air quality every hour over Europe. That's incredible from something so high up. And here's Sentinel-5, closer to the Earth. Again, not a satellite, but an instrument mission that will be on UMITSAT's new generation of METOP weather satellites. From a polar orbit, it will monitor air quality and even climate gases. Not bad for something zipping around the Earth 14 times a day. Another new climate monitoring satellite will be CO2M. This satellite will keep an eye on greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane, and the data will be used to monitor emissions from human activities. All these Copernicus satellites and instrument missions will be operated by UMITSAT in Germany. So, what happens with all this data? Well, the readings from the satellites are combined with the readings taken closer to Earth, and the data is processed to provide users with new services. People can use this information. It's useful for farming, fishing, shipping, tourism, and even to check on the very air that we are breathing. Meaning that we can more easily manage the environment and Earth's precious resources and respond more effectively to natural disasters. The Copernicus programme also creates a huge potential for new jobs and markets. Future satellites are planned to help us further monitor the Earth, collecting new data for subsequent generations to explore and analyse.